in the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. By those who remove by drowning, and those who draw forth by extracting. By those ever swimming, and the foremost vanguard, and the arrangers of a matter. On the day the convulsion convulses, there will follow it the second. Hearts that day will tremble, their eyes humbled. They say, are we to be returned to our former state, even when we are decayed bones? They say, that then would be a losing return. And there will be but one cry, and then will they be awakened. Has there come to thee the account of Moses, when his Lord called him in the sacred valley of Tuwa? Go thou to Pharaoh, he has transgressed. And say thou, wouldst thou purify thyself, and that I guide thee to thy Lord, so thou shalt fear? And he showed him the greatest proof, but he denied and opposed. Then turned he away in haste, and gathered, and called, and said, I am your most high Lord. So God seized him in exemplary punishment of the latter and the former. In that is a lesson for him who fears. Are you harder in creation or the sky? He built it, he raised the ceiling thereof, and fashioned it, and he made dark its night, and brought forth its morning. And the earth after that he spread it out, he brought forth therefrom its water and its pasture. And the mountains he set firmly, as enjoyment for you and for your cattle, then, when the greatest calamity comes, the day man will remember for what he strove, and hell will be made manifest to him who sees, then, as for him who transgressed and preferred the life of this world, hell will be the shelter. And as for him who feared the station of his Lord and restrained his soul from vain desire, the garden will be the shelter. They ask thee about the hour. When is its arrival? What is any reminder thereof to thee? To thy Lord is the finality thereof. Thou art but the warner of him who fears it. It will be the day they see it, as though they had not tarried, save a day's end or a morning thereof.